Hey guys, Shane here, Crypto Fish YouTube channel. So today we got another speculative coin mining video. This is going to be on BitCash. We'll see what it's about and of course how to mine it. See you in a bit. Alright guys, real quick before we go on, if you're new here, be sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell below. Got a couple of videos coming out every week, speculative coin mining, a little bit on trading, comparing and contrasting different miners, etc. Stuff like that. Also this week, I'm going to be bringing Bitcoin Fridays back on Wednesday, so you're not going to want to miss that. So real quick, hit the notification bell, subscribe, and also hit that thumbs up if you like this kind of content. All right, so Bitcash, let's get over to their Bitcoin talk here real quick. Um, I'm not going to read through all this and bore you guys. I'm sure you just want to get to how to mine this kind of thing. Briefly go over it. All these links will be down below this video in the description. So don't worry about trying to find any of this info on your own. Try to make it as easy as possible for you guys to get right on and get started mining. So like I said, here's the Bitcoin talk. Website's right here. Uh, Bitcash combines the power of blockchain with the features of banking to create the world's most usable cryptocurrency. What is Bitcash? By combining the advantages of cryptocurrency, speed, privacy, decentralization, low fees, with, tradi with traditional fiat banking systems, transaction records, account names, electronic statements, accounting software integration. Bitcash uh, is the world's first truly decentralized cryptocurrency designed to facilitate real world trade between consumers and merchants with the goal of becoming the world's most used cryptocurrency. Uh, these guys have been around, I think this project has been out for about a few months now, but I think they've actually been out longer, just rebranded themselves. Uh, at least when I did their, uh, their wallet, it had been uh, about a year, uh, according to when it was syncing with the blockchain. So I think they've been out a while. Um, something new they just added, send coins via Twitter, Instagram, and Twitch. I thought that was kind of neat. Uh, you can now Bitcash to anyone on, you can now send, they obviously forgot send, Bitcash to anyone on Twitter using only their Twitter handle. Gone are the days of having to send and receive complex cryptocurrency addresses just to send someone cryptocurrency. And even though Bitcash already has easy to use nicknames, we've taken it even a step further. So now all you got to do is need uh, somebody's Twitter handle and you can instantly send them cash. So I thought that was pretty neat um, Again, these links will be down below I'm not going to read through everything. They've got a lot of uh, features that are really pretty cool with them Tells you how it work account nicknames uh, records instant low-cost international money transfer and Then of course they have a uh, coming soon big cash stable um, stuff like that pretty cool little project thought I would uh, mine it they've got a let me see here I think I saw it over here got a hundred million coin supply so not too bad let me see yeah, coin specs right here uh, initially a hundred million coins but will fluctuate upon the main net uh, of big cash stable feature little bit of a high on the pre-mine 9.7 percent um, I usually don't like it to be that high but uh, anyways using the was using the cuckoo cycle uh, then it's already forked over to x16r and with that let's get into how to mine it guys so first we're going to need the wallet so you can click on download wallet again here it is right here that link will be down below as well i'm using windows so i'm using it on my nvidia rig right now so windows right here you click that link if you got a mac you download the mac linux etc etc um, so let me pull up my nvidia mining rig and i'll show you that and how to mine it and what the wall looks like and everything else all right so let me go down here here is my nvidia mining rig um, been pretty laggy so hopefully it'll be all right here's my wallets folder so once you go ahead and click this link in my case Windows wallet download it um, I went ahead and put it in its own folder called BitCash, and you'll get this little 
file right here, bitcache-setup. You just double click on that. I chose to put all the files in this folder. So here it is right here. Like I said, it's lagging. Here we go. So once this pops up, the only thing you're going to need is bitcache-qt. So you would double click on that. And it will pull the wallet up, which is already pulled up, but it's kind of lagging here real quick. So this is what the wallet looks like. Um, should have already got some cash in here. Yep, 4.28. So far, I've only been mining it a couple hours now, so we'll see how it goes. I usually run it for 24 hours, and then I'll see uh, whether it's beneficial to mine or not. So you would click on Receive, and they've already got an address set up for you, so you just click Copy Address to Clipboard. You would copy that, click that right there, and it would say Copied and Copy it for you. You can actually mine with this. I haven't tried that. But the wallet you can actually mine, just click start mining and it'll find whatever graphics card you got or CPU and away it'll go. Pretty easy, pretty cool. You can change the mining pool down here but we're not worried about that right now. So let's minimize this. Now I'm using the T-Rex miner for the NVIDIA rig. Let's go ahead and mine. Minimize, minimize. Sorry guys, it's laggy. But anyways, the I was using Crypto Dredge for a while, but T-Rex seems to be doing just a little bit better. Um, so that's what I have set up right now. Right, so let me pull my miners folder up. While it's being laggy, let's go back over to... Again, this link will be down below along with everything else I'm talking about. T-Rex 11.0. I'm using a bit older version, but it doesn't really matter. This is just newer, updated version. So you come on over to here, click on the CUDA 10.0. Um, well, that's for Linux. Windows right here is the one you would download. Zip. Put it on your machine, computer, mining rig, whatever it is. I put it in its own folder right here, unzipped it. Uh, I like to see what kind of miner it is for the uh, actual algorithm or coin project I'm using, just uh, as a point of reference. Also, um, if you got an AMD rig, it uses Wild Rig. Uh, both of the Windows batch files are below this video, so you can just copy that, paste it into a notepad, and uh, you'll be good to go. So this is what I'm talking about. So you would take this information open up a notepad paste it in there the only thing you're going to need to change is of course your wallet address right here um, you can leave it there if you want mine for me that would be fine uh, no problems here uh, you may want to change the actual pool and a list of pools is going to be right over here it's already got a decent amount of pools. I'm on the bsod.pw pool, but you can choose any of these ones that actually have decent amount of hash rates. So anything from uh, a hash pool and up would be good to go. So like I said, yeah, so just change if you want to the pool address right here. Again, you can leave it there if you want to use bsod.pw, that's fine. Uh, then you would just click file save as and for the purposes of this video like always I will call it run1.bat make sure it's .bat in both the AMD and NVIDIA styles for rigs uh, makes it a Windows batch file so you'll be able to mine with it then you can close that out there is run1 right there and let me pull up the actual miner right here so I'm going to go ahead and close the miner. It'll pull up right here real quick. So close the miner. It'll quit. Now here's the file we just created, onerun.bat. Double click on it. Miner will pull up and it'll start mining it away. Should show up shares pretty quickly. Um, and then you'll obviously want to go over to whatever pool you're using and make sure that your rig is showing up on that pool because sometimes in the past I've actually done this and mined for hours and for some reason the rig wasn't showing up on the pool so 
you don't want to waste your time. So back over here, NVIDIA rig right there, T-Rex.9.2. I'm using an older version, like I said. But yes, we are showing up on the pool. So we're good to go. Let me pull this back up. There we go. We've got some shares. And let me X out of that. So like I said, here is a list of pools. Pick whatever one you want. Open up a notepad file. Copy one of the batch files down below. Save it as a whatever you want to call it, .bat. Double click on it and you're good to go. Alright guys? So I guess with that, that's going to be it for today's video. Uh, if you guys like this video, hit that thumbs up. I'd appreciate it. Again, if you're new here, be sure to subscribe. Hit that notification bell. And also, Bitcoin Fridays is coming back Wednesday. So be looking, uh, looking for that video. Alright guys? So with that, I will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.